and I just participated at the Scream Jam 2023 and I made an horror game in 7 days. To make the game, I will use Unreal Engine 5.3, I will use MetaHuman for my character and I will use the Quixel Bridge for all the assets and I will use some assets from the marketplace. Everything is free, I will link them in the description. As I have a full-time job on the side, I will not be able to work much on the first 3 days. But uh, let's start with the day one. So I started scratching idea for the game. I got inspired by a game like Resident Evil. Alan Wake. I wanted to add a little bit of Lovecraft lore. So I wanted to add Kulu like we can see in the season 3 of Love Death Robots in Netflix. So we'll see how it goes. I focused this game jam in learning how to do cinematic. So it's something I never did with Unreal Engine. I wanted to learn how to do it and try to make one. So we'll see that in the day five. It will not go well. So I started by creating a character in MetaHuman. This character is called John and we will import it in Unreal. To make my life easier, I use the retargeting feature of Unreal to get all the assets from the default mannequin. So I was able to get all the animation from the mannequin to my MetaHuman character. Then I work on the character blueprint and the animation blueprint. I made the system to be able to pick up the gun and the flashlight, which is the core system of the game. For today, let's work on the environment. We will try the new feature PCG, the Procedural Content Generator. We will try to use this to make our forest. After creating the forest, I wanted to make uh, the house. I used Midjourney to create some reference, like kind of to vibe house. I tried to place assets from Quixel, but it didn't go well. It was a nightmare to put all the assets one by one. So I put all of that in the garbage. We couldn't work much in day 2 and 3 because I was working. So let's call it a day and jump to tomorrow. I just figured out that we can use modeling tools to create shape and make the house. So we will try to use it. It will make our life way easier. Now that we have the shape of the house, I actually want to add something. Our character has a gun, but he has nothing to shoot at. So let's add an enemy. So I made a simple AI system. When the enemy spawn in the scene, we find the player and go straight to him, run to him, and start attacking him straight away. Now that we have the start of the house and an enemy to shoot at, let's go sleep on that because tomorrow we have to do the cinematic. 
Ok, so let's work with Sequencer today and make an intro cinematic for the game. For the cinematic, I want to have the character in this car and driving through the forest to arrive to the manoir. So we'll make that. I had a lot of issues with the car. I wanted to place it step by step and move changing the transform, but it was like sliding. It was not very good. Then I find I find that we can use the rail. So in Unreal, there is the camera rail. We can use this rail to put the car on and make it move through the cinematic. But it still looks very unnatural because there is no physics applied on the car. But we will see. So let's add the character now in the car. We place him. It was fun to it was fun to make this cinematic. It looks very bad. I think to improve it, I should add some physics to the car. So actually, like simulate the physics of the car when it's roaming around on the floor. But I don't have the time to do that. In seven days, it's impossible. Let's forget about the cinematic. We learned a lot, but we will try to make it for another game. We will need to work a lot tomorrow because today we just did the cinematic. It took forever and it's not looking good. But tomorrow we have to. Work a lot, otherwise we ask. So let's call it a day and see you on day six. So for the day six, we will add the interactive and messaging system for the gameplay. So let's add some interaction now on the object. I cannot show you everything. You will need to test it out to see which object you can interact on because otherwise it will be a spoiler. Well, tomorrow is the last day. I have some games gameplay now, so let's go to sleep. Tomorrow we need to finish and upload that to itch.io. Okay, here we are on the last day. We will first test the game and see if there is any issue and fix them. And then we will upload that on itch.io. So it looks good. We will finish some few stuff that I still have to finish. Now we can build the game. And we can upload it using Butler because the game is 10 gigabytes. It's pretty easy because I didn't got the time to clean it up. I actually should remove all, all the assets that I didn't use in the project because it makes the file very heavy and people are not gonna like. Here we are, the game is finished and we got the result. So we got only two rated on the game because the game was heavy. People didn't really want to try it out. 10 gigabytes on each structure, it's very heavy. So next time I will have to think about cleaning up the project and make it as small as possible. I had some friends to test it out and actually like it. I'm happy with the game. I will leave a link in the description if you want to test it out. Try it out and let me know how it goes. I will not work anymore on the game. It's the game only for the game jam. It's a totally finished project, but so we leave it as it is. If you got a good time watching this devlog, Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss the next devlog and the next tutorial. So see you on the next video.
Oh. <sighs>